three tips on how to make friendships as an adult. Hi everyone, I'm Apollonia Ponti. I'm your dating relationship and life coach, and I am your coach to help you men make your life amazing and really master your attraction skills when it comes to everything in your life. And this video is a different type of video because something that I've noticed in so many of my coaching sessions, so many of my cases with my men, and it's either a man that is younger and doesn't have a huge network of friends or is a homebody and doesn't have a lot of friends or someone that has recently come out of a divorce or a long-term relationship and, um, doesn't have any friends and is like, I don't know how to go out anymore. I don't want to go out alone, which going out alone is okay, but, um, I don't want to go out alone anymore. Let's just say, or I don't really have much to do with people. I don't have anybody to interact with. So I can go out there and talk to women and approach women. Well, I'm going to give you the three ways to start making friendships with people. Now I know it's harder to make friendships with people, um, when you get older and also to when you're not used to it. Right. So that's why I want to do this, but also to understand that friendships also give us an important dynamic in life to cherish. And I think that we can learn a lot from having people in our lives. And also too, it's really awesome to feel supported as well at the same time. So if we understand that the reason why we want our friendships, so what I ask you, what are two biggest reasons why you want a friendship in your life? Okay. And those, that question is going to kind of tell you where to find friends and also to, um, uh, what the reason why you want your friends, obviously. So for example, if it's like picking up girls in a nightclub, all right, well then go to a bar and meet a dude and just have a conversation with him. Right. <laughs> Easy as that. But, um, that that's what I mean by this. So let's go into it. So the first thing that I want you to do in regards to tip on how to making a friend, how to make a friends as adult, um, is I want you to get part of like a community, right? Something where there's group activities and something going on. So for example, my mother, um, she just moved to a recent new, whole new neighborhood, whole new city, everything. She loves to play tennis. She got involved in a tennis team. She started playing tennis. She went out there, met people. Then the tennis team was on, they had a big text chain and they said, let's do this. There's an event here. Let's go here. Now she has two or three friends just from tennis. And this is how she's met now because she had tennis. She's also met friends from that were friends with them that they brought to events. So the, it goes around and around. And then when we do this is we want to be a part of a community, but we also want to have a uh, pretty good dialogue conversations when we meet new people or when we have communication or when we talk to people, um, that we don't know. Right. So what we want to do is maybe find something that we have in common with this person. If it's playing tennis, we already have something in common, right? <laughs> For the reasons why you're involved in this community setting. So once you get there, um, it's really important to just do like, just take your time just to take your time, feel it out. Don't come in with an energy of like, I have to make this person my friend. It doesn't work like that. So number one tip is to get involved in the community, a community activity, a group activity. Number two is they do things called meetup in different locations, depending on where you are. But I really do think it's from all over the world. Um, you can do something called meetup and there's online things as well that you can do that have meetup activities as well. Um, I think those are really, really great. I've actually had so many men, um, do these activities and meet friends as well. And number three on how to make a friend as an adult kind of comes into dating a little bit. So let's say that you're out on a date with, a, f a girl and she and you, either you decide that she's more of a friend to you or she decides you're more of a friend to her. This is where sometimes I think men can, um, actually play their cards, right? When a woman is like, Oh, I actually just want to be friends. I'm not looking for anything serious. Or maybe she friend zoned you. Um, and, um, you have to be in a realm in your mind and say, okay, Understand that if a woman friend zones you, you can use this also in your benefit, but also if she's not looking for anything serious, you can use this in your benefit if you are, or if you're wanting to meet other people and become her friend. So if you go out with a woman, let's just say that you both are friends and you go out with a woman and you work on yourself, no expectations to even be with this woman that you're quote unquote friends with. This is how you get out of the friend zone, which I have a full product about. Um, I want you to be able to understand that having a woman around you as a friend is a really good thing when you go out because it actually builds the safe card for other women to be like, oh, okay, this guy's probably not 
creepy or he's not a serial killer or he's not, he's okay. Right. Because the first thing that women think of is security. So you have something pretty special because this woman is hanging out with you. So if another woman is hanging out with you, it shows another woman that you have something that might be interesting to them. The only thing that you, know, you would have to probably explain is when you talk to them that this is my friend, not my girlfriend, whatever the case may be, right? You're not going to say this is my girlfriend. You're just going to say this is not my, this is my friend. A lot of times men are like, no, I don't want to be friends. So I'm done with this girl, but instead embrace it. Embrace a friendship with a woman because this can help you meet other people. Who knows if that woman invites you over to a dinner party and you meet, meet some other women that ends up being your lifelong partner, a woman that ends up being your lifelong partner, or maybe you meet a guy, another single guy that is just newly single and you guys hit it off and then you go out and you enjoy time. You never know who you're going to meet through people. And what a lot of times we do is we build expectations. Oh, and we let it attack us. Oh, I'm rejected. So I can't be friends with this person or I don't want to be friends with this person. But in turn, what we don't do is we don't use it to our advantage. So that is something that I would highly, highly encourage you to do. I know it's hard to make friends because not everybody is aligned with your belief, personal values, and it does take time. So don't rush the process, but really you have to put yourself out there in order for people to come to you. So remember that. As always, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, comment below on which one you will try. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.